Thank goodness I ran fast and made it to see the CEO and Mr. Yan's sweet moment. Man Manning? What are you doing? What should I do? That person. She's my... Don't look over there. It's okay. I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm in a rush. What do I do? The girl earlier is my childhood best friend. Calm down. You must know where you are. Also, do mind your words. It's not our first day back in the country. And it's not our first encountering such trouble. Feng Xiang and Yuan Shui will handle this. Trust me. Go and change. I'll wait for you outside. Come on. doing? Put me down. Yan Shui, put me down. Put me... What are you doing? Why are you stopping me from attending the wedding? I definitely saw it. The couple who is getting engaged, LH stars Miss Zhuang. She's my childhood. What are you doing? You must be mistaken. The ones on the stage are LH Star CEO and new deputy CEO. Their engagement has nothing to do with you. What do you mean? No, it can't be. Are you trying to stop me from attending the wedding? Feng Xiang. Did you know about this? Tell me. Yuan Shui. You're not going to tell me, are you? I'll go and see her. And ask her by myself. Employee benefits. Giveaways. Here you go. Thank you. Come. It's free of charge. Employee benefits. Come and get it. Come. It's free of charge. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Employee benefits. When I think of Nana working in such a good company, I feel... Shen. I'm afraid there won't be enough. Why don't you bring in the rest of the drinks from the car outside? Okay. Look at this little old man. He keeps everything on his mind. My life. Nana! Nana! Mom? Mom, why are you here? 
Your company union. Ordered a dozen boxes of drinks. At our convenience store. They would like me to give the benefits to employees. So I brought Shen here. Company union? Your company is great. When I think of you working in such a good company, I feel at ease. Mom, the thing is, our company doesn't have a union. Impossible. We got funds through the QR code on our store's official account. They even paid tens of dollars more. Did they? Excuse me. It's free of charge. Here you go. Give me. Manning? Isn't she studying abroad? Why is she here? She's not lying to us. And Shen, right? Mom. She is not Manman. She is the president of our company. Her surname is Zhuang, and she is called Zhuang Shenyan. She's just... Someone who looks like man men. You're telling me that she is. Miss Zhuang, are you going out? I'm waiting for you. No matter. Calm down. But they are my. Just keep walking. Don't look. Do not look. I know what you're trying to do. Then you should know what I've guessed. Your guess doesn't matter. Then tell me all I need to know. Well, but not here. Do you dare to come with me? Manning? Miss Sinyan, calm down. You've got the wrong person. I've got the wrong person? My... my last name isn't Shen. I'm not the Manning you're looking for. My dear. Minute made. Show me where you're hurt. No, I can't see it. Let me check you. You can't see it. Why can't I? I'm not telling you. My butt. You've got the wrong person. 
I'm not the person you seek. I have to go now. If you aren't, who are you? Can I really not recognize my daughter after 20 years? Tell me. Shen. Shen. She's my granddaughter. They could even get away with it. I'll find your fault one day. This time, it's too hasty. Next time, I will invite you both to our home. We don't deserve it. Mr. Zhuang, you're too kind to us. Mr. Shen, I've heard that your daughter and my granddaughter look very much alike. Yes. The vast world is full of wonders. It's not surprising that two people look alike. I've heard that some foreign country is running a search for doppelgangers these days. Thousands of lookalikes all in one place. Yanyan grew up abroad. It is serendipitous that she looks like your daughter. If they had the chance to meet each other, they might become close friends or lifelong friends. Yes. Mr. Zhuang is right. Most people who look alike are meant to meet. But my daughter? That's a deal. Take your daughter to the Zhuang mansion and make friends with Xinyan. Have tea. Have tea. Grandpa. Why haven't I seen Xing Cheng all morning? Yan Xing Cheng? Did you two have a fight? You regret it? The superb stuff brought back from Yunnan. I never drink coffee. Why? It leads to insomnia and nightmares. There are nightmares in your life. 
Of course. Many people are haunted by the trauma of their early childhood, and I am no exception. Early childhood. Trauma. The morning of 21st November 2004. was dark and cloudy. I remember clearly that Sinyan fell down after breakfast. My dad held her in his arms and was taking her to the hospital for dressing. However, just as they reached the entrance of the villa, the car of the Zhuang family's first aunt and Mr. Yan had a car accident on the way abroad for inspection. Mr. Yan was reported dead on the spot and the Zhuang family's first aunt was unknown. Their son, Yan Yi. Xin Yan fainted from crying on the spot, but Mr. Zhuang immediately ordered her to go abroad alone. Since then, no one knew where Xin Yan had gone. Then she came back. With a fiance who nobody had ever seen before and took her place as CEO of LH Star. I admire the new CEO who has shown great drive. But the biggest problem is that her last name isn't even Zhuang. What's her last name? If not Zhuang? It doesn't matter what her last name is. What matters is you. Me? Why did you bring her back? Why did you put her in this position? It's unfair to compel an innocent girl to bear such a big responsibility for Xinyan. When has the world ever been fair? Then you shouldn't put your own responsibility on her either. Dare you to say again? I'm not afraid even though I say it a hundred times. What about you? Do you dare to take the ring off your finger? Yeah. Shh. Yeah. I put it on for 20 years to cover it. So are you ready to make it up to me? Don't run. Catch me. Stop running. Hurry up. Give it to me. Stop running. You can't catch me. Return it to me. Call for someone quickly! Call someone here! Let go of me. You aren't solving anything by holding me here. Even if I don't tell them your identity, the Zhuang family and those from LH Group will find out. What if I kill you? Yan Yi, you can't kill me. If something really happened to Xinyan, you should have told the Zhuangs honestly, instead of dragging Shen Manning into it. How did you know about Shen Manning? I met her at the Overseas University of Arts. I don't believe in doppelgangers, but Manning is really innocent. She shouldn't be included in such a danger. If you want to act, you can tell me. I can help you find Xinyan. Xinyan is dead. Do you think I didn't want to bring Jinyan back? Do you think I would want to involve a stranger in the Zhuang family? Do you think I don't want to tell Grandpa? I'm back? I can't. If everyone knew that Jinyan's dead, what would happen to the Zhuang family and what would happen to LH Star? They harmed Xinyan. 
If I don't find out who's behind this, someone else in the Zhuang family will get hurt. Including me. And possibly you. That's impossible. That's not true. Let go of me. I'm going to see Mr. Zhuang. I want to see my dad. You can't see anyone. No one can escape from this vortex anymore. No one. Manning? Dad? Miss Sinyan, calm down. You've got the wrong person. I've got the wrong person? My... my last name isn't Shen. I'm not the Manning you're looking for. My dear. Minute Maid. Show me where you're hurt. No, I can't see it. Let me check you. You can't see it. Why can't I? I'm not telling you. My butt. You've got the wrong person. I'm not the person you seek. I have to go now. If you aren't, who are you? Can I really not recognize my daughter after 20 years? Tell me. Shen. Shen. She's my granddaughter. They could even get away with it. I'll find your fault one day. This time, it's too hasty. Next time, I will invite you both to our home. We don't deserve it. Mr. Zhuang, you're too kind to us. Mr. Shen, I've heard that your daughter and my granddaughter look very much alike. Yes. The vast world is full of wonders. It's not surprising that two people look alike. I've heard that some foreign country is running a search for doppelgangers these days. Thousands of lookalikes all in one place. Yanyan grew up abroad. It is serendipitous that she looks like your daughter. If they had the chance to meet each other, they might become close friends or lifelong friends. Yes. Mr. Zhuang is right. Most people who look alike are meant to meet. But my daughter? That's a deal. Take your daughter to the Zhuang mansion and make friends with Xinyan. Have tea. Have tea.
stop thinking about it. Mr. Zhuang said, that lady is her granddaughter. Will an old man lie to us? Manning is studying at university abroad. If you're unsure, give her a call. I haven't heard from her for a month. Will she answer my calls? Just give her a call and you will know. Really? Hello. Dad. Hello? Manning, where are you? I'm in Italy. Where in Italy are you? Flo... Florence. Manning, you must take care of yourself. When you are abroad alone, don't make weird friends. And don't do anything dangerous. I just hope you are safe and come back soon. If you're broke, just tell me. It's okay for me to work a little harder. Dad, I want you to be well fed and clothed out there. I got it, Dad. Why are you crying, Manning? Stop crying. Don't let your classmates see you cry. I'm glad to know you're safe. I'll save you a bit of your phone bill. Goodbye. Grandpa. Why haven't I seen Xing Cheng all morning? Yan Xing Cheng? Did you two have a fight? You regret it? The superb stuff brought back from Yunnan. I never drink coffee. Why? It leads to insomnia and nightmares. There are nightmares in your life. Of course. Many people are haunted by the trauma of their early childhood, and I am no exception. 
Early childhood. Trauma. The morning of 21st November 2004. was dark and cloudy. I remember clearly that Sinyan fell down after breakfast. My dad held her in his arms and was taking her to the hospital for dressing. However, just as they reached the entrance of the villa, the car of the Zhuang family's first aunt and Mr. Yan had a car accident on the way abroad for inspection. Mr. Yan was reported dead on the spot and the Zhuang family's first aunt was unknown. Their son, Yan Yi. Xin Yan fainted from crying on the spot, but Mr. Zhuang immediately ordered her to go abroad alone. Since then, no one knew where Xin Yan had gone. Then she came back. With a fiance who nobody had ever seen before and took her place as CEO of LH Star. I admire the new CEO who has shown great drive. But the biggest problem is that her last name isn't even Zhuang. What's her last name? If not Zhuang? It doesn't matter what her last name is. What matters is you. Me? Why did you bring her back? Why did you put her in this position? It's unfair to compel an innocent girl to bear such a big responsibility for Xinyan. When has the world ever been fair? Then you shouldn't put your own responsibility on her either. Dare you to say again? I'm not afraid even though I say it a hundred times. What about you? Do you dare to take the ring off your finger? Yeah. She? I put it on for 20 years to cover it. So are you ready to make it up to me? Don't run. Catch me. Stop running. Hurry up. Give it to me. Stop running. You can't catch me. Return it to me. Call for someone quickly! Call someone here! Let go of me. You aren't solving anything by holding me here. Even if I don't tell them your identity, the Zhuang family and those from LH Group will find out. What if I kill you? Yan Yi, you can't kill me. If something really happened to Xinyan, you should have told the Zhuangs honestly, instead of dragging Shen Manning into it. How did you know about Shen Manning? I met her at the Overseas University of Arts. I don't believe in doppelgangers, but Manning is really innocent. She shouldn't be included in such a danger. If you want to act, you can tell me. I can help you find Xinyan. Xinyan is dead. Do you think I didn't want to bring Xinyan back? Do you think I would want to involve a stranger in the Zhuang family? Do you think I don't want to tell Grandpa? I'm back? I can't. If everyone knew that Xinyan's dead, what would happen to the Zhuang family and what would happen to LH Star? They harmed Xinyan. If I don't find out who's behind this, Someone else in the Zhuang family will get hurt. Including me. 
and possibly you. That's impossible. That's not true. Let go of me. I'm going to see Mr. Zhuang. I want to see my dad. You can't see anyone. No one can escape from this vortex anymore. No one. What's wrong? What are you doing? Who told you to shout so loud? You, you're still peeking? Who would want to peek at you? Gently, gently. Done. All right, you may get up now. Doctor, how is it? Is it serious? It's very serious. If he's a little late, the wound will heal itself. But rabies vaccination is still necessary. Wait. Do I need an injection? Doctor, how many total injections? Three. Let's get the first vaccination today. Okay. Today? Now? Yes. Can it be... No! What are you doing? I need an injection, don't I? You got other vaccine on your bottom? Um... Are you dressed? No. You're really slow. Come here now. It's time for an injection. Come here. Hurry up. Are you dressed? Yes. Wait. I have an unspeakable problem. What? I'm scared. Hurry up! Do you want the injection or not? I haven't started yet. You haven't started? Doctor, hurry up! <laughs> Mayna, wait for me. Mayna. I can't take it anymore. The injection point is too painful. I think the vaccine was given to the arm. I got it wrong. No wonder. My arm hurts more. I think the vaccine was given to the right arm. Mena. I'll just say one sentence. Just one sentence. One sentence? I... It's finished. Sorry. I shouldn't have kissed you on purpose. To keep you from talking that day. No matter what the reason is, it's my fault for not... respecting you. I'm sorry. Yan Shui and I came back to help boss. I'm sorry, there's so much I can't tell you. But you must trust me. I'm serious about knowing you, wanting to be your friend. Can you forgive me? I, I don't know what you're hiding, though. And I'm not interested in knowing. However, when my mother and Uncle Shen went to the office today, 
I realized that we are not from the same world. I was very angry about what you did the other day, but... Forget it! Feng Xiang. We shouldn't be friends. Why? Can't we even be friends? Because... I don't want to see you all again. We can't even meet. Don't you get it? I don't want to be trapped in it again. I don't want to be alone when you all leave. Alone. Nana. We won't leave. The person I like is Yuan Shuai. Grandpa. Xinyan, come here. Grandpa, why are you still up so late? What about you? You're still wandering around at this hour. I couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd wander around. Why? You can't sleep without him around. What? What are you talking about? Grandpa? He and I... How come this flower we planted a few weeks ago? Is still this tall? It won't grow! Another season of hard work is wasted. Why? Are we usually too busy to take care of it? Or... No. It's too stuffy in here. Stuffy? The family is always in hidden turmoil. Everyone always has their own agenda. The lack of sunlight makes one breathless. Humans can't even breathe. In this environment, let alone plants and flowers, Grandpa. Flowers. Always bloom in the sun. Why force it? When you can't. With sunlight and water, you will not die.
This. I want to water the plants. Aren't you going to bed at this hour? Sure. I'll be off to bed soon. Uncle Guangyi, long time no see. I came to visit you on behalf of my brother. I was wondering when your brother would bring you over to see me, but you came over first. My brother is so caught up in the company all the time. I don't want to come with him and listen to him rant about business again. I'd love to hear him talk about that. After so many years of rivalry, we need to alter the LH and Liu Guang relationship. You also think, should our families redefine their relationship?
Mr. Zhuang, I'm Tang Lin. I've come to apologize to you on behalf of my brother. You're not going to kick me out, are you? I thought it was some young girl. So it's the precious daughter of the Tang family. Mr. Zhuang, although my brother has always wanted to compete with LH Group in the business world, in his heart, he greatly admires for you and for LH Group. We usually see each other at meetings and conferences. Today, I've come to visit you in person with gifts. You won't kick me out, will you? When someone comes to my house, they are my guests. So how can I kick them out? You're so kind. <laughs> then I'll come and see you and Uncle Guangyi more often, okay? Okay. Tang Lin. Why is she here? Be good. Here, let go. So clever, take it. You little brat! All you do is play all day long. Can't you share some of my chores? You're nothing like Manning. Minute Maid, come here. Go have some fun. Mum, can you stop talking about Manman? Look at Uncle Shen. She is studying abroad. I don't know what he's worried about. Could he have really taken Miss Zhuang as his daughter? How can you be sure that it's not? Her grandpa have stepped forward. How else can we prove it? I've never met anyone so naive as you. You've lived all these years for nothing. Just help yourselves. Is this a banquet with a trap? Or a blind date banquet? Unfortunately, I have a girlfriend. Or is this beauty for your grandson-in-law? I'm not averse to a blind date. I might actually meet someone I like. It's just a family dinner, because Lin Lin came to see us on behalf of her brother and resolved the rivalry between Liu Guang and LH for so many years. As elders, we should treat her as a matter of course. Thank you, Uncle Guangyi. I should thank you. Lin Lin also brought a lot of gifts today. I ordered the kitchen to cook it all, as there are quite a few people at home today. Mum, why are there so many mangoes? Did you profit from them? You're talking nonsense again. Yesterday, two university students came to conduct a survey and insisted on asking about our daughter's favorite food and their least favorite food. So I filled in your and Manning's preferences. Then, they sent me two big boxes of mangoes. It's been a long time since I've seen such polite young men. Social survey? Why did they survey people's favorite foods? Yes. Probably another pre-survey for that chewing gum sale. They couldn't have given you mangoes then. And you know that Man Man is allergic to mangoes. She nearly died from eating a mango when she was little. Why? Is this not to your liking, Miss Zhang? I heard that your favorite food as a child was fruit mixed with rice. I got the biggest and best Hainan mangoes. I could find... It seems that Miss Zhuang is not going to save my face. Or is there really something you cannot say?
Dr. Tai. Dr. Tai. Hurry up. Medical records department. They're going to take the two young girls' medical records and death records. Dr. Tai. Dr. Tai. I got it. All right. I will wait for your return. Ms. Zhuang, you haven't started eating yet. It seems that you really don't like fruit meals. How about... She's really allergic to mangoes. Something bad could happen. Manning is allergic to mangoes, but you aren't. Dig in now. I'll eat it. This is my favorite fruit meal after all. And it's prepared by Miss Tang personally. Of course I must eat it. Sorry, Grandfather. I... I ate too quickly. I think I overeat. I want to take a break in the room. Should I call the family doctor for you? No need. I just need a break, Grandfather. Sure. Sorry. Xinyan may have a cold. After yesterday's downpour, I'm going to take care of her. Manning. 
What's wrong? What's wrong? I... I'm allergic to mango. Shen Manning. Shen Manning. 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 Shen Manning. Wake up, Shen Manning. 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 Can you hear me? Manning. Shen Manning. Open your mouth, drink it. Take big gulps. Shen Manning, vomit it out. Vomit everything, hurry. Manning, it's fine now. I'm here. Don't go. I'm getting something for you. Fine. I'm not leaving. I'll be with you.
Let me in? How dare you block my access? I'll let you experience the taste of death. It's not hot anymore. Are the hives gone? Do you need a drink? You had a high fever yesterday night. I just want to thank you. I was allergic to mangoes when I was young. In serious cases, if my breathing muscles fail, my heart will stop. So I only want to thank you. Why did you do that? You know you are allergic to mangoes and it's dangerous. Why did you do that? For you. And also for Zinyan. I promised her to get LH Group back. I also want to fulfill your wish. My wish? Although you didn't tell me your real reason for bringing me back. I know you have been waiting. You have been waiting for a moment. When the time comes, you will tell me everything. Right?
Before that happens, I will become Zhuang Xinyan. I will never let my identity be exposed. No matter what obstacles I'll face, I will never give up. about my identity, right? You knew? Everything that happened recently. Tang Lin has been inching closer. I think. She's not trying to test my bottom line. She wants to find evidence that proves I'm not Zhuang Xinyan. Xingqing. If Tang Lin finds evidence, that proves my identity. Just make me the scapegoat. What are you talking about? Not evidence I'm not Zhuang Xinyan. Got exposed. Just let me shoulder everything. Manning, do you know what you are talking about? I don't know the consequences of posing as the daughter of a rich family. I also don't know what punishment I will receive if I got found out. But I know I would already be dead that night without Zhuang Xinyan. Shen Manning. My life, my eyes, every part of me no longer belongs to myself. If we got found out, you need to stay hidden at least so our hard work will not go to waste, isn't it? Believe me, I can handle this. The flowers will no longer bloom. The season is not right. Even if the season is right, they will no longer survive. Why? Because the heart is broken. The people who should be blooming here have gone. One by one. Even if the ones who stay are holding on, watering, sunlight, fertilizing, it still won't bloom. It will not bloom in this room that gets no sunlight. This dark corner. So, should the window be opened? the sunlight enter. If opening the windows will allow the sunlight and the breeze to enter, just leave what should remain. The one that shouldn't stay, just get her to leave. be waiting here until the flower blooms. The weather might be good on Thursday evening. Let's go to the beach to fly kites and have a picnic. I will tell you 
all my secrets. Return it to me. When did my sister start drinking? To get rid of her sorrows? I'm not getting rid of my sorrows. This is anger. Who offended you? I'll get rid of him. The one from the Zhuang family. Yan Xingcheng. This man is not that simple. Why does it have to be him? He is handsome. And capable. I like him. There are countless men in the world. As long as you don't pick him, I will get any men you like for you. I want Yan Xingqing. Get him for me. Enough. You've made enough trouble. Just forget about it. He is the Zhuang family's grandson-in-law, although I don't like the Zhuang family in terms of business. But I don't have the habit of ruining other people's families. What if he's not the Zhuang family's grandson-in-law? What if the Zhuang family doesn't have a granddaughter? Anyway, I want Yan Xingqing. No matter the price, I have to get him. Brother, just wait. When the truth comes out, I will get LH Star back into your hands without lifting a finger. Lin Lin, you must remember that you are my sister. Remember the rules I gave you since young. What you should do and shouldn't do. You need to have a bottom line. I know. I don't need you to nag at me. Meet me. Sure. Hello, Fangxiang. Where are you? Return immediately. We are bringing our plan forward. Mr. Lin, are you awake? Did you sleep well? Open the door. I want to go back. Calm down. Our boss said, you've been treated poorly. He asked me to buy food for you. Let us have a nice meal. I appreciate it, but I have important things to do. Open the door for me. Mr. Lin, don't be so polite. If you leave, boss will say I'm not treating you well. Here, let's have a drink. Have a drink? This door has an electronic lock. You can't go out. Just a couple of drinks, half an hour. It won't interfere with your important thing. The weather is so good. Mom, Uncle Shen, hurry up.
Mr. Lin, I prepared this food especially for you. This wine is from Qingdao. It's rich and delicious. You can drink as much as you want. I appreciate it, but I'm running out of time. You promised to drink, yet you won't even drink one glass. Is that good enough? Mr. Lin is good at drinking. Let me get you another glass. Fang Xiang, I really have a very important thing to do. If you don't let me go, it'll be too late. What is so important? Everything is insignificant besides life and death. The thing that I'm talking about is a matter of life and death. Yan Qingqing, I like you. I'm being liked by the daughter of Liu Guang Group. Should I feel honored or unlucky? Being engaged with the daughter of LH Group. Should you feel honored or unlucky? I think the answer to this question Depends on whether the daughter in front of you is real or fake. Tang Lin knew too much. If you don't let me go, who knows what she will do? It'll be too late when something happens. Mr. Lin, we know what Tang Lin knows. Our boss knows what to do. So your boss went to see her on his own, right? How do you know? I also know. Tang Lin will not meet Yan Xingcheng alone. Xin Yan as well. No. It's Manning. Shen Manning will also be there. I guessed everything correctly, right? I know Tang Lin too well. Once she gets her hands on the evidence, she will strike first. At all costs. What she wants now is not just your boss, Yan Xingqing. What she wants is to ruin Zhuang Xinyan's reputation and bring her down together. Miss Tang's question is already a statement. Do I still need to answer it? Yan Xingcheng! What's wrong with you? Do you think everything is within your control? No matter what I say or do, will you not be surprised? Or scared? Of course, I have something I'm afraid of. Did you hide my phone signal? If you don't believe me, just take a look and see whether Tang Lin contacted me. What are you afraid of? How dare you touch Zhuang Xinyan? Turns out Zhuang Xinyan is your weakness. That person over there isn't. Yan Xingcheng, who are you? Why did you come to the Zhuangs? What do you want? What is your objective? Do you have a right to know? Mr. Yan, did you consider the consequences of making me angry? What are you trying to do? Just do it. Hello. What? An accident? What accident? My daughter is in Italy. Hello. Hello. Uncle Shen, 
What accident? Did something happen to Manman? The emergency rescue center said Manning fell down from the airport building. She is in critical condition now. Is it true? Let's go and take a look. Mom, calm down! Uncle Shen, don't you have Manman's international phone number? Give her a call. Taxi! Taxi! This is bad. Yan Xingcheng, don't you say anything? I have nothing to say to you. Hello, Dad. What are they trying to do? They even took father away. No. Isn't that man? Man, man? Dad. Yan Xingqing, what is the truth? I'm giving you one last chance. Luxury Goods Group made an important announcement. The vice CEO Yan Xingcheng is actually Yan Yi, the grandson who Zhuang Chengan, LH Group's chairman, lost 17 years ago. Yan Yi will use his original name and take over LH Star as the new CEO. Shen Manning. <laughs>